All right, perfect. I uh, hope you guys are excited tonight. So the first deal that we're going to discuss is Alexa Mitchell. Come on up. Everyone give her up for the class. So, so you have this deal. Guys, Isn't it beautiful? It's in Utah, Florida. So let's jump in. So how did you find the deal? Uh, so the way I found this deal is actually in the neighborhood that I personally live in. I have another Airbnb in, and I have a rental property in, and my mother lives in the same neighborhood, so we like the neighborhood, right? Yeah. Okay, awesome. So let's talk about the purchase price. How did you get that price? Sure. So um, really cool story, and there's a great article. You can read a lot about it in the next newsletter. Um, but this particular uh, woman had passed away. It was a rental. And um, because I talk to everyone all the time, everybody sees my signs on my truck, my house, my neighborhood houses. They know that I buy houses. And it was a really great situation because they thought the house was worth a little bit more. And actually the husband of one of the heirs was totally on my side. Like, let's just, we're not gonna fix anything. We're not gonna do this stuff. Let's, let's get rid of it, let's end this. It was four heirs. So they got to split the 105. All right, wow, great. So, ARV, I just call it ARV. So again, we know the neighborhood quite well, right? We've got a lot going on in the neighborhood. Um, in this particular situation, we have an Airbnb two houses down. So when we saw it only needed ten thousand dollars worth of repairs, we thought we can probably not even do those repairs and Airbnb it for a substantial amount. So kind of save us on our upfront costs. And then when our note is due in two years, we can look at if we want to keep it as a regular rental, refinance it, or keep it as an Airbnb. Okay, awesome. So we didn't have to do the $10,000 in repairs to rent it. Um, it's kind of a dated house. It was built in the 80s. There's nothing really fancy about it. The other property we have on the same block is an Airbnb with a pool and updated features and some other nice things. Um, so this was kind of a risk. We weren't exactly sure what we would get for a nightly rate, but we furnished the house for $4,300 and we put it up. Great. So as far as the furnishing is concerned, maybe I think a lot of people here are new to Airbnb and new in general to sure. investment. So what are some of the things that you did to get an Airbnb ready? Yeah. Um, so really cool. Anytime I buy houses, uh, we tell people they can leave whatever they want behind. This particular house left a lot of really cool stuff behind that kind of themed the house. They left a piano. Um, they left the dining room table, which is a really nice old wood table. Um, so it kind of themed our house as the vintage Disney house, and we, you know, Amazon posters that made it Disney related. Uh, we're 45 minutes from Disney, but we still have a lot of people that come for Disney all the way up in Eustis, Florida. I know it's shocking. <laughs> wow, very cool. All right, so you discussed the purchase price and future rehab. So future rehab, what do you think may need to be done in order to... Yeah, so if we want the full retail value, we're probably gonna to have to do new flooring, we're going to have to paint. Um, realistically, everything else is in pretty good condition. The seller has actually serviced the AC right before we bought it. Uh, we just had a roof leak, insurance covered it, so it was a really little thing, it really didn't come out of our pocket. Um, and then the furnishings, again, 4,300. So we'll decide what we do in another, you know, 14 months or whenever our notice due. Okay, excellent. And then cash flow, can you talk about that? So that's just Airbnb, so weekly, or how does that work? Yeah, so um, we rent on Airbnb and vacation, vacation rentals by owner primarily. Um, and on those two sites, it takes a little bit of time to get up and running. So we furnished the house. We took one or two photos of like the outside. We didn't do anything to the outside. Uh, so we took a couple photos we could take right away and put it up so we could start get bookings as soon as possible. Um, summer is our slow season, at least in Eustis and Lake County. Um, so it didn't start out super hot that first month, but average over the last seven months, we've averaged about $2,700 um, per month. And right now, actually this month, I think we have $3,300 coming in. And then as far as the average cash, cash flow, we're taking home about $1,200 after taxes, mortgage insurance, and power and utilities, of course. Excellent. How many of you would love that deal? Raise your hands. Give a shout. It's amazing. Right, so the last question I have, and then we'll open it up. What was your biggest takeaway from this deal? 
So I put this slide up because these bunk beds are a nightmare. Um, I absolutely hate these bunk beds. We got a really good deal on them. We buy furniture at this little liquidator place outside of Deland, and the bunk beds were like $100 each, and I understand because nobody wants to make them. Our cleaning crews hate it. Uh, it's really hard. I've been on the top bunk trying to make the bed. It's miserable. But what we did is we actually don't make the top bunks anymore, and we have a little clean sheet card, and we fold the sheets really cute, and we say, it says build a bunk. So literally, we have build a bunk for kids. They can come up there and make the beds if they want to. And it stops people from using them. Otherwise, the kids just go right up to the top bunk, right? So that would be one of the furthest things. The other big takeaway is everybody in your neighborhood should know what you do. Every single person you know, everyone on Facebook. I'm sure all of you know me on Facebook, and you see me all the time talking about my stuff. And this is why. I got a great lead yesterday, because I'm on Facebook. All right, so now we're going to open up for questions. So there's going to be a microphone passed around, so we'll take a few. Anybody have any questions? Just raise your hand. We'll get your microphone. Yeah, positive cash flow. Yeah. Did that include a little bit closer. You yeah. mentioned the positive cash flow. Did that include calculations for your, your turnover, the cost of cleaning, and all of those things? <laughs> yes, yep, absolutely. Um, so to fund the deal, I'm over here. Oh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's really bright over there. Yeah. Um, so to fund the deal, did you use uh, private money, hard money? How did you come up with the funding for it? Yeah, a private lender actually in this room. So a CFRI private lender um, lent us the money. Cool. Yeah. Does you just let you... Um, Airbnb without living in the house like Orange County does? They do in Eustis, yes. Um, and I'm super, I'm all over, I always want to be involved. I'm in the county all the time, I'm in the city all the time, and we have no restrictions in Eustis, and we will fight to keep it that way. Hi, um, so what dictates how much you rent for Airbnb? Is it a set price, or are you doing like a market analysis to understand how to rent it out? Great question. Um, so I started doing your Airbnbs about four years ago, and I just guessed. Um, I had no real idea. Um, now we have another Airbnb on the same block. This particular house sleeps like 11 people. Um, so we have, with the bunk beds, we've got pull-out couches, we've got a kind of a converted bedroom. Um, so it's really cool. We've had a lot of people traveling, like families for reunions, funerals, um, basketball tournaments. So they're able to sleep a ton more people instead of getting three or four hotel rooms. Um, oh, I was like the Grammys, we got cut off. Um, <laughs> three or four, instead of three or four hotel rooms, they're paying, you know, 160 or $180 a night. Nice. Hello? Here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi. Uh, I want to ask you, when you talk about the notes, what does that mean? Um, so a private money note. So essentially, someone in the room gave us a loan for two years. We're paying just interest, okay. um, and we make those payments every month. It's actually through their retirement account. Okay, so just the interest. Just thing. interest. So I'll still owe 105. Okay, absolutely. All right. Yeah. Thank you. And the house would cash flow as a regular rental, even with that private money loan. I'm a big advocate. Like, don't buy something just for Airbnb. We make more money this way. But we could still make our payment. We could still make a little bit of money every month. Okay, great. Uh, if you guys have any other questions for Alexa, you can find her during the break. Reach out to her. Hit her up on Facebook. Instagram, all that. So, give it again. Give it up for Alexa. Thank you.